What's going on guys? I'm Max with Hardwater Freaks and today I want to show you a brand new product freshly released from Markham Technologies. As we all know Markham Technology is a kingpin in the industry especially when it comes to underwater viewing systems. As you guys can see all I've ever owned in my entire life is Markham all the way back to the VX1 days. You guys know what I'm talking about. Back when Gander Mountain was around and this was like you had to have it. The VX1P. There she is right there. I'm going to keep that until I die. I want to be able to show kids when I'm 80 years old. Look at what we used to use. So, but as we all know, Markham is a leader in the industry. They're always innovating and they're always bringing forth new products. And I am proud to announce and say that I got my hands on the new Pursuit HD underwater viewing system. Now, if you guys don't know much about the Pursuit HD, the Pursuit HD is now the big brother, big sister, uh, the grandpa. Um, it's uh, the kingpin, the new version of the Recon 5 Plus. So I've had the Recon 5 Plus. I love it. Super small, super compact. The only thing I did not like about this was ability to reel up my line quickly, which obviously adds a little bit of bulk. But they fixed that and they made a kingpin new leader when it comes to mobility with the Pursuit HD. So here's the old case, Recon 5 Plus. Check it out, it's all right in there. Okay, now imagine this better with 1080p by 60 frames per second. Go ahead and throw in the ability to have an MP4 format so you can easily throw it on your phone or your laptop right away. And an awesome way to go ahead and roll up that cord. This is the Pursuit HD. So, a little bit bigger than the Recon 5 Plus bag, but you'll see why. So, like I said with the Recon 5 Plus, the only thing I didn't like, phenomenal unit, was that you had to ravel up like this. Now you're going to go ahead and see what Markham did, and it's actually a pretty phenomenal idea. So once again, here's the case, a little bit bigger. You get a little bit more out of the case as well. Obviously your shoulder strap, so you can hold it right here. Check this bad boy out. A raveling system. Now what you can't see about this awesome raveling system is if I detach this cord and I unlock the little locking mechanism, I can freely let the camera out, but then just like a fishing rod, when I'm done, next hole, next hole, let the camera out, oh, next hole, reel it back up, check that out. So as you can see, almost the exact same size in every aspect, but they added this amazing raveling system. Now this is really, really cool, but the coolest thing about all of this that all of us are going to love the most, let me just go ahead and lock this for us real quick, is that... 1080p by 60 frames per second. Now, if you guys like YouTube and you like showing people all around the internet, hey, check out this YouTube YouTube video. This is your kingpin right here. So I'll go ahead and show you guys the interfaces. Here's the interface of the new Pursuit HD. Here's the interface of the Recon 5 Plus. Look familiar? Almost exactly the same to a T. Okay, so pretty awesome. All the ports are now on the side to allow for that awesome raveling device on the back. So, in here you put your SD card up to 128 gigabytes. That's huge. For those of you that like to GoPro and everything like that, you know that's about seven hours of footage that you can go ahead and throw on here. That's a ton of recording. Easily capable of taking pictures by one simple push of the button. The video, you simply hold the button, it comes on blinking, just like your GoPro, just like all these other cameras out there. Blinking red light pops up on the screen. This will tell you the direction that your camera's facing. This will also tell you the temperature and it will tell you the depth that this actually is sitting. Now, obviously, throwing this around in, the, in, in your cases, going all around the state, moving all over the nation when you're using these cameras, a lot of us like to travel. Obviously, this will eventually lose that north, south, east, west. Calibration takes about five seconds. Recalibrate it, turn it twice clockwise, go ahead, push the button again, boom. North, south, east, west, 100% accurate. But what's even cooler, that my favorite part, is that temperature. For those of you guys that like to fine tune your presentations, you know temperature is huge. Okay, so I showed you the different size sizes right there. There's the different depths. One, two, check them out. Obviously a little bit deeper, but you get this awesome reeling device, okay? So now I know what a ton of you are thinking. Max, 
I really want to see that 1080p just like this. So as you know, this doesn't record volume. Obviously, we don't need to hear fish talking under the water. If we could, it would be an onslaught because we'd really learn a lot more. But we can't. But I can give you the film. Now, I'm going to go ahead and use the audio off of this camera that we're using right here to bring forth this video. And I'm going to film the rest of this segment with the 1080p from Markham Technologies. We're going to go ahead and check out the next one, which is going to be the camera with the LEDs on, because these obviously have LEDs just like the Recon 5 Plus. They obviously have IR just like the Recon Plus. We're going to go ahead and film this next segment with the LEDs on. And we're going to go ahead and film that in three, two, one. All right, here we are. This is the Markham Pursuit HD live footage, 1080 by 60. This is amazing quality. I still can't believe like how realistic everything is. You know, you look, this is the old case of the Recon 5 Plus. This is the Pursuit HD. You can see this video is just crazy with how like, accurate precise fine-tuned as you guys are going to see a little bit here you're going to see a little bit different from what we were just filming on and that's because this camera is meant to be underwater so it's going to be a little bit fine-tuned with the footage when it comes on the lens the housing the fact that it has to deal with pressure and everything like that it's going to be a tiny bit different but you have to admit this is pretty crazy with how high quality the 1080 by 60 is for an underwater camera. So like I said, this is just footage, not LED. Next, we're going to go over and swing over. I'm going to turn all the lights off in this room. I'm going to flip on the LED lights. And we're going to see what this looks like when it comes to using the LED lights on the Pursuit HD with volume from an external camera. Let's check this out. All right, here we are. The Pursuit HD with the LEDs on. This is on LED power. Four. That's LED power four. There's four settings. This is full setting. Um, as you guys can see, I mean, you can look around the room. I mean, everything in here. There's my otter shanty. All the all the all the fancy fish and stuff just partying in here. As you guys can see, pretty awesome camera. So I'm here. Like I said, Pursuit HD. This is the live footage. This is the LED light setting four. I have an external microphone. This is crazy amazing quality. Next, I want to bring you over and show you what IR looks like when you're filming at 1080p. Check it out. All right, here we are. IR footage. Pursuit HD from Markham Technologies. This is IR. If you guys don't know the difference between IR and LED, LED light is your typical white light. You got four power settings. This is IR. This is covert. This is blackout mission. And this is the setting you usually want to be fishing on because you're only producing two tiny little red dots underwater, which ultimately attracts a lot of fish in IR mode. So this is the Pursuit HD IR mode 1080 by 60p from Markham Technologies. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up, this up guys. This is crazy cool how amazing this 1080 by 60p is. I mean, you can look at this right here. Look at the definition of this. Isn't that just crazy? 108060 with Markham Technologies. Thanks guys.